So, video games. <sighs> oh, I almost died there. Uh, they're expensive. They're, in fact, getting more expensive. And uh, they're getting more expensive for no discernible reason. They're just getting more expensive to become more expensive. And I have heard all kinds of excuses the last couple of days about why video games should be $70. And honestly, all those excuses are wrong. Alex, how could they be wrong? Inflation, the price of making games, the cost of doing business. And I'm here to tell you that uh, you're wrong. You're 100% wrong across the board. Y'all better listen to him. Y'all better damn well listen to him because that man speaks the truth. Games are becoming more expensive and they don't need to be, especially when games are either coming out unfinished, poorly optimized, or they're just lacking content. So why in the hell do these idiots release their products in this broken, unfinished, unfulfilled state and they have the nerve to charge full price for it, rather be $60, rather be $70, and assuming that there's some bullshit deluxe edition out there, $100, perhaps even more. So it makes no sense to me for games to come out with a $70, $60 price tag when there is so much work that needs to be done. And I'm sure that on the business side of things, you know, paying off the full price is beneficial for them, but I'm talking about something separate from business, okay? This is about their overall morale and standards because I've been noticing a lot of unfinished games coming out over the past couple of months, whether it be Jedi Survivor on PC or Redfall or something like Mario Strikers Battle League where it's getting constant free updates among other Nintendo games. It makes absolutely no sense to me and to me the only justifiable reason for anyone to spend full price for a game is either when they're reviewing it, which is often the case that I've been seeing you know, days on end, or if the pricing actually is worth it. It's if they spent a lot of time with it and they made one hell of a good product and they release it and then everyone was looking forward to it and then they figured yeah that's worth the $70 price tag or if it's something like a remake of an old game that's like 20 plus years old then I'm pretty sure that's justifiable as well and I say that as I am looking directly at Resident Evil because Capcom has had a streak with Resident Evil games can't wait for Mega Man S's 30th anniversary though uh, in December so Releasing games unfinished, releasing games with not all the content, releasing games however they feel, and then them updating it later. And they have the nerve to charge full price. To me, that is one of the cardinal sins of this industry. And this is another reason why I don't take the gaming industry seriously anymore. I mean, outside of the fact that E3 and the Game Awards and all these other presentations are completely worthless. You got these people releasing all their games that they've been hyping up for all this time in this unfinished, in this technical issue build. Like everything about it is just a it's, it's just a slap in the face, a punch in the gut. It is everything that is considered an insult. Okay, you look at games like, like I said, Jedi Survivor, Redfall, even Pokemon Scarlet and Violet or Mario Strikers Battle League where they're either unfinished, unpolished, un-everything. Everything is just unfinished. And yet they have the nerve to charge 60 or if not $70 on it. And then here comes The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom where Nintendo started charging 70 and I'm sure Tears of the Kingdom is a fantastic game. A lot of people are giving it praise, rightfully so. But does Tears of the Kingdom really need to be $70? Like, really? I've seen gameplay of it and, you know, it being on the Switch is bound to have technical issues and yes, it does. Anytime Link uses, uses his new 
ability to move stuff around, the frame rate just dies. So, you know, I'm pretty sure the technical problems are still um, within Nintendo's catalog of games within the Switch. I mean, you know, I know the Switch is not an all-powerful system, but yeah, they really should have taken the time to, at the very least, find ways to stabilize the frame rate whenever Link is doing anything that could push the hardware's limitations. But to me, spending full price for games is just not worth it anymore. It is super not worth it. Back in the day, I was all about getting games day one. You know, back when I had the Wii U, and, you know, still have it. Well, back when I sometimes when I leave high school and then there's like a new Wii U game that's coming out or something for Xbox 360 rather be Super Mario 3D World or possibly Halo 4 um, I would just get that day one you know I was all about getting games day one and then now that I'm seeing the current state of, of the, the industry I'm just gonna say it they have not earned my respect as of late and because of that, I just wait for games to go on sale. I'm going on G2A anytime that Steam has a sale because like fucking hell that I'm going to be spending on a game that's like 25, 30, maybe 50% off. And then if I'm lucky enough, I can just get whatever game I want dirt fucking cheap. If there's a game that's on sale for $9, I can pretty much, if there's a sale going on G2A, I can get that for $2. I don't have to spend nearly $10 just because a game is on sale, like 50% off or whatever the hell. No, I don't have to. So, I don't take the gaming industry seriously. I don't take full price games seriously. I just don't understand why they keep releasing trailer after trailer, promotion after promotion, and yet in the background, it's like they know how, ga how their game is just wildly fucked up. And then they just have this bullshit mentality of, release the game now fix it later why isn't it the other way around fix the game now and then release it later if a game needs to be delayed then just say so and that's my other issue when it comes to full price games they don't say anything they never take the time to say we're working hard on the game we're gonna delay it rarely do you get that okay the last to me the last instance of that happening was from Square Enix when they were working on Final Fantasy 16, they said, we need more time with this, we're gonna push it back. Meanwhile at EA, we're sorry that Jedi Survivor is broken, we'll be sure to fix fix the game as much as we can on PC, um, and then other people can access their broken ass save files. Yeah, I saw, or not saw, but um, I heard of what happens when, I think after the fix, that you try to load your save, and then the save is just, yeah, it's, it's, it's still broken. Unexpected error. You seem to have bypassed certain story elements continuing uh, to play from this point may encounter issues. If you choose to proceed anyway, loading any future saves from the title screen will give you the option to reload prior to this point. Reload from last save point? Load. Continue from the last good save. You may lose some progress, but will avoid game breaking issues. And then it gives you the location. Or proceed anyway. Continue with the broken state. This is not recommended. Things will likely be broken. I want to point out, I'm seeing somebody say that these are all Pat Mine Goblins, that the game is great. I'm sure the game is great underneath all of this stuff. But to, de to describe the wide-ranging variety of issues everyone is having with this game as, ah, whatever, patch it, like, it's fucking so stupid. We're looking at a splash screen, a custom-built splash screen, because the issue of broken saves is so common and was going to happen so often, they built a system to fix your saves, and I that system doesn't work! I, I need to explain very carefully what would happen if I was testing and this message popped up on the compliance team. We take a screenshot, we take a video, we take that and we put it on the desktop and we get ready to write the bug up. But before we do any of that, we call a meeting, I call a meeting in 
the boardroom right over there. We yeah. draw the curtains. We sit around. We pull that up, and we fucking howl for at least 25 minutes at that screenshot because that is the most insane thing you could ever propose. The idea of confronting a corrupted save in this... But this is where PC shit gets wild, right? Because a lot of the time... Nintendo, Sony, Xbox, yada yada, they will often have things that say, you can't fucking do that. You can't go, hey man, your save's kind of fucked up. It's a risky proposition, but hold up. it's up to up you my hands. if you want to. Hold up my hand here, gotta mm -hmm. stop you, gotta stop mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. the, the screenshot is from the Xbox version. So this is the thing, <laughs> this is what's fucked up, right? A lot of that over time, like, gets more PC-like and they get more hands-off. And so that is that is a crazy idea from what the era that I came from, at the very least, that you would propose a maybe you want to keep using your corrupted save, maybe? We're not sure. It's up to you if something goes wrong. And not only that, the language is, like, so vague. Like, they get so they, – they're such sticklers for – or they were such sticklers for language and making sure that the person, the player, understands – destructive actions and there's a huge there used to be a huge thing about that this is crazy that you would like let that slide and go hey man i don't know but it's up to you if you want to fuck I, it i i I, well, I really need to dig into this because this is like the fucking most funny thing about it what is the cross section of is the problem is so well known that we have enough time to try and build a system to fix it after the bug happens, but we don't have enough time to actually fix it at all. Like, so, what is that? Like, like there would be times where a game that's really poorly made would have something like this, right? And the default state back in the day, again, I'm, I'm years removed from, you mm -hmm. know, the, those mm -hmm. guidelines, would be d error your data is corrupted something's wrong with it right we're for either you either the save is corrupted and it's gone or right. if you can retrieve a previous save we're just forcing that situation to occur you're gonna lose progress but it's because something else something fucked up happened right um if the game shipped in a way where that was caused by not the user's actions like that would be like they'd have to have gone gotten a waiver and paid them off, which guess what? EA and Star Wars can probably do. You yeah. know, they can pay enough money to be like, yeah, let us let us ship a game where we get something fucked up like that. But you would never give a choice. You would always pick the soundest option, at, which is not letting the corrupted data continue to be used, mind you. Um, you and you'd get rid of it, and you'd always drop them back to a clean save wherever you can, or you, or the whole thing's corrupted and it's gone. I mean, um, I should also mention that the gentleman whose uh, his post is going around by this described that when it went to load the clean save, the clean save was also ruinously broken and he got stuck and would have had to restart the whole game anywhere because it was just broken. It was like, hey, can you fix this? And he went, okay, I guess. And then it was like, no, nah, still broken. This is to even address the other bit where it's just like, I mean, it's not, it's not as like fucking uh, uh, sensational, but like crash the desktop hard just yeah videos of that you know so um i it, it is wild when a game is having this type of slop go on but there's enough money to like just pay for some waivers pay for some shit like get I, it get get some things smoothed over you because know what this the, feels like the state you get like this game in the landlord special over a roach <laughs> right. Hey, right. I don't know if right, you're more right, familiar right, with right, what right. that is. The landlord yeah, special yeah, 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 is you're yeah, yeah. moving out and your landlord needs to make the place nice. So they just fucking shittily paint over everything and they mm -hmm. paint over hair, they paint over roaches, they paint over furniture. Um God like, man. Yeah. I I just it, it it I can't believe they actually write that and go, hey, and, I don't know, it's up to you. And like, hey, if the game ran well and didn't have any problems, I would probably look at it and be like, this is a pretty good feeling Star Wars game that apparently, according to people that have beaten it, it has a really good story. It has a lot of cool shit in it. Um, I find it totally impossible to extricate 
the experience that I'm having where I'm constantly frustrated and low key worried that the game's going to die on me. And my personal favorite is that this game, which is on fire as you're playing it and heating up my office to the point where I'm uncomfortable also costs $10 more than the average game. Yay. Yeah. So Jedi survivor without a doubt is I, I didn't see it in action because I don't want to get spoiled, but I saw, uh, or not saw, damn it, uh, I heard all of the bad things about the PC port and saw the apology that EA and I think Respawn put out, which is another prime example of why even spend games, why even spend full price for games anymore, like, again, if you're the kind of person that streams the game day one, reviews the game, for a certain amount of hours then I feel like that's justified enough because people are gonna buy games day one and they are going to um, stream the game or review the game or anything according to their profession so no harm no foul there in fact word of mouth should spread from people who pay full price for these games so that way the people who are looking forward to it can just say yeah I'm just gonna hold off on this for another time and you know rightfully so but I honestly feel kind of bad for people that spend full price for games whether they're streaming it or reviewing it because they're the ones that have to sit through, sit through potential garbage whether it be poorly unoptimized or lack of content or if it's just plainly unfinished so I get that people um, pay for games fully just they can get that access but at the same time, it, to me, yeah, you know, you're better off just waiting for a sale. And as for the video game industry themselves, they really should not be even trying to put a 60 or a $70 price tag on these. Because there are certain games out there that have come out that were either $50 or $40. The, the game I can think about is what, Nino Kuni Red Dead Redemption Remastered, that was $50, so... Not even, not even consider full price, six year, you know, now 70. So it really doesn't make any sense to me that they continue to release these unfinished games after hyping it up so much, rather than be commercials, trailers, or just at shitty press conferences. And then when the game comes out, it's garbage. It is unfinished, unoptimized, you know, I said it a thousand fucking times already but a thousand fucking times that they continue to do this okay it makes absolutely no sense to me and this is why i don't take it seriously this is why i don't spend full price for games anymore this is why i wait for sales this is why i go through other means to acquire the games that i want because if they're gonna try to convince me to spend my hard-earned money on their shitty products and they don't give me the quality that I seek, then what the fuck is the point? I got other shit to pay for. A lot of people have shit to pay for. Shit, they got bills, mortgages, and all this other bullshit that they gotta go through. Keep the lights on, put the food on the table, keep the water running, okay? We got shit to do. We ain't got time, we got time and money to be wasting on your shitty products. So why the fuck are they still trying to release them, knowing that they're unfinished, and then here they are, not only releasing this shit in full price, but sometimes they will release these god-awful deluxe editions. Like what? You give me an art book. Okay. You give me a soundtrack. Sure. Sometimes, you, I don't know, maybe you'll give me a statue. Cool. I mean, anything else? I mean, <laughs> like, I I don't even take deluxe editions seriously either. Uh, either. Like, great, I get a statue. Great, I get an art book. Great, I get a soundtrack. Great, I get a poster that's signed by the author or the, the, the anyone that's of importance. Yeah, sure, whatever. Too bad you're probably gonna shit. So, yeah, I can't really think of uh, any justifiable reason for games to be full price other than they just want to make that sweet, sweet paper. That sweet, sweet cash, money, dollar, yen, euro, whatever the hell. And it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I, I don't 
tolerate that. And honestly, neither should you, because other than primary reasons to be spending full price for games, like what other reason could there be for spending full price for games, right? Because I can't think of one on top of my head other than just them being fucking greedy. Them rele releasing shit. In fact, I don't even think there was an official statement about Scrum and Violet either. It's just, okay, well, the game's out. Have fun. I felt looking at the um, looking at the uh, children in the classroom moving their legs at three frames per second. So yeah, that's cool. Except it isn't. So you know, if if Scarlet Divine was seventy, people would be throwing a fucking shit fit. But full price for games, it it can't happen anymore. Okay, especially what's been happening right now with Jedi Survivor and Redfall. And, you know, plenty of other games that I can't list on top of my head because to me, there is just too much. Too much shit has come out from this industry. And I'm honestly just, I, I'm at my wit's end now. Like, I can't tolerate this shit anymore. I have not taken this industry seriously for practically what feels like years now. And I think that's for, no, I know that's for good reason because I'm noticing all the shit that's coming out. All while noticing all the shit that hasn't come out or hasn't happened or what should have happened, but they just decided not to do it. And when they do do it, they do it in the worst way possible. And then you get bullshit like Super Mario 3D All-Stars where they sell you three emulators for $60. And then after six months, they just pull it from the market. And then I think to myself, well, that was fucking pointless. Aside from the fact that there's no Galaxy 2 no 64 DS and no 3D land you slap on a six month window and then you just pull it and then you're basically taking away the means to play sunshine outside of getting it on the GameCube I would say the same thing for Galaxy 1 if the eShop on the Wii U was still open but that's gone too so yeah what the fuck is going on like again just to recap, games are coming out unfinished, unoptimized, lacking content, and they're releasing these games for $60 or $70, and for deluxe editions out there, possibly $100. For bonus shit that you... that that's just considered bonus shit. I mean, it doesn't change the game in any sort of way. And then they keep saying that, oh, there's going to be a patch soon, there's going to be an update soon with this bullshit mindset of releasing the game now and fixing it later when it should be the other way around and it's not. So not only have you lost my respect, not only have you basically disrespected yourselves by saying that and releasing the games unfinished and everything else. But you are literally telling me that you just don't give a shit about quality and that you only care about filling in your fucking pockets. To which I say, fuck you. Shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of this industry because I'd rather have people with brains in their fucking heads who know what the fuck they are doing. Not people who just want to make a quick buck out of something that we grew up with. So fuck off with that shit. I can't tolerate this shit anymore, okay? I'd rather spend money on, on indie games that are not full price, that sometimes have uh, sales on day one, which is why, you know, when I saw Freedom Planet 2 launch, I was surprised to see that it was 10% off, so I said, all right, I mean, even if it wasn't, I'd still be, I'll still be spending full price on it, and the price isn't even that high for Freedom Planet 2. $25, to spend $25, and then... You know, you get to experience what I say is the game of 2022. Okay, yeah. Freedom Planet 2, Freedom Planet 2 is that good. You know, unlike all the other bullshit that I've been seeing. So, yeah. I'd rather spend full price for indie games than full price for anything else. Because AAA or AAA is a fucking joke. Okay? It's a fucking joke. And honestly, Sometimes it's not even laughable. Sometimes it's just pathetic to see. Like, again, Redfall. I saw the reviews and people talking about it, and it's 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 pathetic to see. Even Phil Spencer himself said that, you know, I'm disappointed with myself. I'm angry with myself. There's nothing that's more difficult for me than 
disappointing the Xbox community. Just to kind of watch the community lose confidence, be disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I'm upset with myself. Uh, I I kind of make it, revisit our process. You know, I think back to the announcement of 60 frames per second, and then we weren't shipping 60 frames per second. That was kind of our punch in the chin, rightfully, uh, a couple weeks ago. And then seeing the game come out and the critical response was not what we wanted. Um, and it's, it's, it's disappointing. And, you know, no disrespect to people who put up these apology um, letters and they say how disappointed and frustrated they are. But just because you're saying that you're sorry or that you're frustrated isn't going to fix the game. Okay? Because we rather see action being taken to fix the game rather than saying we're them saying we're sorry we're gonna fix it i mean some say apology is a start to me an apology doesn't mean anything unless i see it in action i need to see actual games being fixed games with patches or better yet games being fucking finished that's what i need to see because again if they're gonna if they're gonna charge 70 or 60 dollars for it then that means the game has to be that good, right? I mean, what's going to happen if they're going to start charging $80 in the next generation or two, okay? Shit. Like, if games just are just going to start charging $80 fucking dollars, then surely the game must be that good, well-polished, has shit ton of content, and is worth coming back to time and time again, right? I mean, if they're going to charge $70, what's to stop them from charging more? Not even the deluxe uh, edition or whatever, just... In general, general price, $80. I can't wait to see that. And then people just start saying, this is a scam. I'm not paying for this. Honestly, I wouldn't either. So, again, it makes no sense to me. Games should not be full price. Um, the only reason that I can think of that people spend full price on it day one is if they're going to review it, if they're going to stream it, or, you know, maybe they buy it as a gift. Who knows? But... Uh, yeah, to me, spending full price for games is not exciting anymore. It's a waste. That's why I just wait for sales to show up. And I do not take the gaming industry seriously when it comes to them releasing these games full price, $70, $60. Even if the game was that good, like Tears of the Kingdom, I still wouldn't spend 70 on it. Even if I had to wait for Black Friday, so be it. Because I know how stubborn some people are like Nintendo who don't put their games on sale. And then, even if they do, it's just like, what, 10% off. So, if Tears of the Kingdom ends up, like, 65 or $60, then so fucking be it. Because I know how stubborn they are when it comes to it. Um, putting their games on sale, I mean. So, yeah, it's, it's all in vain. Unless there's a shape-up in the game industry where I can actually see the justifiable reason for them to have 70 or $60. You know, I'm just not about that anymore, okay? It's... I, my attention is on indie games because AAA to me is just a joke. Sometimes you laugh at it, and sometimes you're frustrated. And that's the uh, that's the early that we're in, people. So yeah, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I would love to know. So feel free to post whatever comments you want in the bottom. I'm really looking forward to reading them because this shit needs to stop. I am fucking tired of it. I am so fucking tired of people showing up on stage coming up with these trailers coming up with whatever bullshit commercial only to find out that no we didn't finish it but we plan on fixing it so here's the release date no we're not delaying it here it is have fun if you can with your broken ass save and your broken ass gameplay and your broken ass ass it sucks and you know it's gonna take them until possibly the fucking rapture for them to understand this shit because I know how stubborn these people are. They don't give a shit about quality anymore, but I do. And I hope you do too. So, anyways, with that said, I'd like to thank everybody for seeing this. Please post any positive or negative comment that you wish. Share this with your friends, family, and anyone else that cares about this. And mark my words, man. If there's ever going to come a time where these people are going to get even more greedy... And if they're going to come out with even more games on finish, you know, I mean, what is it going to take, right? What is it going to take to let to, to let these people know that we're not going to stand for this shit anymore? 
Oh, and I almost forgot. Uh, microtransactions, NFTs, and any other bullshit monetization in $70 games or $100 deluxe edition shouldn't be a thing either. Especially when you get assholes like EA but they're shitty Madden games. Um, not finishing the game and primarily focusing on the shit that doesn't matter, whether it be microtransactions or NFTs. I have no clue what the fucking NFT is, and honestly, I don't fucking care. So, yeah. Any game that has that type of bullshit that's charging $70, they're y'all some greedy motherfuckers. So, I just want to get that last bit out there because I knew I was going to forget some stuff. But, yeah, anyways. Please post your comments, positive and negative, share this with family or friends, and, yeah. Unless you have a justifiable reason to do so, please do not spend full price for video games because the game industry does not deserve your money. They're fucking jokes.